Hi, it's Tim Crosby at Flemington Racecourse for round three of XCR12, the big V10. Despite the threat of late showers, close to 700 runners lined up in the main event, with the home of racing legends turning on near ideal conditions for Victoria's premier road race. It was another new recruit who led the charge in the men's race, with Box Hill debutant Harry Summers applying the pace at the front of the field ahead of Athletics Essendon's Mitch Brown, South Melbourne's Juan Woz and Bleda, and Ballarat Region's Shane Nate Curtis. With his now trademark minimalist shoes on show, Summers continued to stretch out beyond the halfway mark, with Brown now in clear second. Things were heating up in the battle for third place, however, as Knox's Kane Willie threw down the challenge to Nan Curvis with one lap remaining. Whilst Knox club mate Sam Crowver and Doncaster's Ben Ashkettle were in hot pursuit. In the end, it was a comfortable victory for Summers, who crossed in 29 minutes and 37 seconds for the fastest winning time in the Victorian Men's 10km Road Championship in three years. Brown took second in 29 minutes and 53 seconds for his first sub-30 minute performance, while a late charge from Ashkettle saw him take third in 30 minutes and 23 seconds for a big 10km road personal best. Yeah, it was a great course. Um, it was pretty hilly, but um, at the end of the day, I was very happy with the time. Got under 30 minutes. Um, last last week, I ran a half marathon, so I'm still feeling a bit tired from that. But it must be a sucker for punishment then. And you, you took this one out pretty hard. You weren't weren't content just to sit back. You really made the moves early. Yeah, um, I know Mitch Brown. has got a very kick kick on him at the last like 500, 500 meters. So I wanted to break him and break some of the other runners. So. I went out first first couple of K pretty hard. The start was very, very fast. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a great course and a great day for fast times. You've had some good results over 10K. Do you think that's your distance or do you think there's maybe uh, a little bit longer in your legs maybe? I think I think I might be stepping up to the marathon this year. Um, I have to talk to my coach about about doing a couple uh, like a couple of halves this year. I'm do, I might be doing Gold Coast in um, uh, five weeks' time. But uh, eventually I want to step up to the marathon. And here are our top eight placings in the Victorian Men's 10km Road Championship. Recently nominated for her second Olympic marathon, Lisa Waitman was always going to be the one to beat in the women's race as she made her debut XCR start for Melbourne University. Not surprisingly, Lisa opened up a clear advantage through the early stages, with teammate Sophie Barker and Melissa Duncan from Knox lying in second and third positions. In her first XCR 12 performance, Athletics Essendon's middle distance star Amanda Paul moved herself into fourth place with one lap remaining. She landed the finishing shoot, 2008 in the league, she headed to London 2012 and also this year, Aston Hoops, 
Continuing to stretch the field throughout the race, Waitman ran on strongly to win in an impressive 33 minutes and 17 seconds, over a minute clear of the field. Barker maintained second, giving Melbourne University the 1-2 double, crossing in 34 minutes and 38 seconds for a big personal best. While Duncan held third for an eye-catching 10 kilometre debut of 35 minutes and 21 seconds. It's great to be out here and great to be part of it again. I had a horrendous year last year, so it's nice to get out, put on, put on an, actually a new uniform and, um, yeah, get out amongst the guys. New uniform, Melbourne University, new club representing in this uh, winter season. How's that travelling for you? Yeah, the, the club's uh, made up of a great bunch of bunch of guys and girls and Locke and I have um, really enjoyed the last few seasons training out at the track. And I certainly targeted this race and Launceston in a few weeks' time as, as two sort of lead-in races. I'm doing a lot of, um, you know, your hardcore marathon training, so I'm not focusing too much on speed, Which um, so I wasn't sort of looking for a PB today or, or anything like that, but it's um, certainly a good opportunity to, to get out on the road and just get those legs hardened up, ready for London. And the road to London, it's it's less than 100 days and you can the hype's starting to build. Well, it's really nice to um, have now been announced and selected for the for the team, so that was a, a really big positive um, a week or so ago. So um, that, that created some excitement around the house and uh, and also, uh, you know, across Australia with Jess um, screeching, I hear, when she heard her announcement as well. So that, that's pretty fun and I'm looking forward to catching up with her in, in Launceston to give her a hug and congratulate her as well. So, yeah, now it's really just down to business we've got to get make sure we keep training because it's not far away at all and here are our top eight placings for the women's 10 kilometer victorian road championship you can continue to follow the xcr12 series action when round four moves to lake wendereen ballarat on saturday the 9th of june for race information, including how to enter, visit asvic.org.au. Thanks for watching ASVIC TV. Stay tuned for plenty more action from around the tracks. Yeah.